Here's an update video for you guys, and it's not going to be members only. We're going to keep it to the point and fast paced. The answer to one of the electrical mistakes to avoid videos is right here from today. You can't use cords as a substitute for fixed wiring. You can't have them concealed, blah, blah, blah. These guys run a cord through the wall. Not even close to the craziest thing I've ever seen, but uh, it happens. So we put out these videos not to belittle anybody. And no names, no faces, no addresses, no nothing. Just what the problem is. Really close so you guys don't make the same mistake. That's what those videos are for. So make sure we're respectful in the comments. You guys have been so far, so appreciate that. Next up, it's almost been a year ago today that I started recovering from my gallbladder surgery. We lost our gallbladder because of the mold. I've got mycotoxin poisoning and I struggle with it pretty much every day. Yesterday I woke up at 1.30 a.m., walked into my garage naked, grabbed the wrap like you would do to wrap furniture, and started to wrap the 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 bed uh, like the box spring of the bed. We got some furniture from one of her mom's friends, and she was into essential oils, and they destroy me, man. I'm so allergic and just sensitive to everything. So I was trying to wrap a portion of that bed. We're probably gonna end up having to get rid of it. It's one thing to have a runny nose, but when you're just inflamed and you can't even breathe out of a nostril for no reason that's kind of makes you go crazy not even close to the worst thing i've had to deal with but we are still dealing with stuff but it is getting better big shout out to my channel that's the channel's name it's called my channel so i appreciate all the support you guys have been awesome i really don't think i could have made it without you guys with all the support uh you know i'll tell somebody new for the first time just to kind of spread awareness throughout different inspections and stuff, I'll mention about the dangers of mycotoxins and stuff, and I'll bring up what I went through. And just looking back, I don't even know how I'm still here. The trichothazine mycotoxin that I've got so much of in my blood, I mean, that's pretty much seven times over the limit on all those toxins. You can destroy it with bleach, but really you need about 500 degrees of fire for 30 minutes to kill it. Pretty much follows you gets in everything we had to throw everything away new house new clothes new car new utensils new cooking appliances new everything what we have tried to keep uh has either like recontaminated this space or we've had to throw it away and just rebuy new we're definitely knocking on about two hundred thousand dollars of cash on just rebuying stuff if you're in that make or break moment where do you know do you spend your savings on trying to remediate or do you get the hell out? The answer should be clear if you've been watching this channel by now. If you have a chance to get out, you should do it. We've been pushing out more content lately and it's led to us. We're knocking at about 100,000 views in two days. So I really appreciate all the support you guys have been given. Huge shout out to a ton of the regulars. If I miss you, I apologize. we got Wilderness Preacher, Joshua Wilson, Kansas Handy. we got Juan. Paul W, Texas Southpaw. Budsville has been in there uh, quite a few times. There's a lot of you guys, man, that have just been watching all the videos, interacting, and uh, I appreciate all the support. In the comments below, because I don't even care if the video gets a ton of views or not, this is a channel for the subs, for you guys, for the supporters. Do you want more troubleshooting? Do you want more... Uh, sales standpoint on how to explain what you got to do to justify your cost for your company do you want more tool testing do you want more tool reviews do you want more code book do you want more calculations do you want me to drop a video on passing your journeyman's test at some point i want to go live and just go through the code book and just tell you what's on the test i i've got total recall memory it's insane we used that circuit screw the other day and determined we only had pretty much one circuit in our kitchen. We got to run another one. So we might do that live. I'll likely have to pull a permit for that, but it shouldn't be too bad. We'll probably definitely do that live. We're going to keep the algorithm happy for now. Uh, they don't really like the games. They like to put yellow checks on the uh, any video game with zombie slaying. But if that's what you guys want, I'll still play it. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below. I want to build some frames with some pocket holes uh, to kind of separate my fridge from... Here, let me show you. Right here, I'd like to do like a pocket hole kind of frame. 
at a one by fours going all the way up. I was hoping to get some uh, can lights or puck lights into the bedrooms before we put the insulation in, but it was fixing to freeze. But I definitely want to do some more lighting in there. Uh, we need to do some kind of shelf. I drove the Mustang uh, today for the first time in like four or five months. And I don't know how I feel about it. Honestly, I think it might have made me sleepy. Uh, probably has mycotoxins in it. I don't think I'm going to be driving it for a while. Again, I'll probably end up having to sell it. We're going to get the 860 DeWalt as soon as that thing hits. I'm really excited for the 860. You know, this is the 845. It's nice and skinny. It's got all the modes, but... This is their third impact in less than three years, so you know they really don't have a great track record with the impacts. Really hoping for a good strong comeback on the 860. The second that Milwaukee starts making smaller compact batteries out of stack lithium, there won't even be any point in buying anything else. We're we'll doing comparisons on the 2.5, the 3.5, the 5 on the Flex. That might be good. I think I'm just going to send Joshua. All those thousand volts, those are 60 bucks each, pretty much. That's 40, that's 40, that's 40. Then we're gonna send a new subscriber, these pair. I think at some point I might add some more driveway. I think I'm gonna do like one foot sections of concrete. Uh, like slots, I guess, with grass in between. So we'll probably be digging in the yard here pretty soon. Not sure if I'm going to go live tomorrow or not. I don't know if it's allergies or if it's a car or what's going on. But uh, my throat's kind of back to hurting. And let's not forget about George Ordway. Of course, Tools with Souls. You guys know who you are. All the regulars, man. BWs. Just everybody, man. Appreciate all the support. Uh, it's kind of your somewhat quick update on what's been going on. This room in here is still contaminated. I don't know if I've ever shown anybody this. I pretty much foamed off that door entry. Plastic did as well. And there's just, the air is weird in there. And it's from these power tools. We put these power tools, I don't know if you can see that little dust on there. I'm hanging on to this one because I only ever used it outside, but uh, we might be giving it away pretty soon. And of course, don't forget about the whiteboard. You guys want some more whiteboard. Let me know which one to do first because we're just going to start doing them. We still got to show you how awesome this bag is. I haven't even really made a video about it. I've just been using it on different jobs and stuff. And this has got to be one of my favorite bags. Probably because it's 200 bucks, man. I don't like to recommend stuff that's like really stupidly priced. But this is almost worth it. <laughs> Specific scenarios, it's a really, really nice bag. See, I knew I shouldn't have started mentioning off names because I'm going to forget people like Jamie True. Your boy, Ram. That's about all I got for now. We'll probably start putting up some lights in the backyard, just putting them on some 4x4 posts and stringing them up and uh, getting all that situated for the summer before it gets hot. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.